Hello everybody, Free Richard here. That's right, I don't have any of those three holding me back today. No annoyingness, no anger, and no disgustingness either. Just Richard. And I'm ready to give you guys a quality review today. And I'm back at the almighty, the holy grail of the fast food industry, Taco Bell. Now, Taco Bell actually released some news recently, and I'm a little upset because they are getting rid of the fiery and cool ranch Doritos Locos tacos. I'm, I was honestly speechless when I heard this news. I could not believe they were getting rid of some of my favorite items from Taco Bell, the fiery being number one. I don't know how they're gonna bounce back from it, but I mean, I have hope that Taco Bell is gonna introduce some new menu items that are better or just as good, hopefully, and maybe they'll bring back the fiery and cool ranch for a limited time in the future. Uh, I mean, it's not like I'm going to sell all my stocks that I have in Yum Brands, the, you know, the company that owns Taco Bell, but I'll probably sell around half after that business decision, but no, forget about that. We're not talking about that today. Today, we are talking about the spicy tostada. That's right, everybody. Never tried this in my entire life. This is a brand new item for Richard, and I'm, I'm excited to try it out, honestly, so... The spicy tostada has 210 calories, it's $1.29, again, a budget food, but this is what it's like for all Taco Bell items, almost. So what's on the spicy tostada is a circular, um, like, hard shell taco disc uh, kind of thing. It's, it, it's interesting, you'll see it. And on top of that, there's beans, chipotle sauce, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and red sauce. So this is a good vegetarian option for those who are interested in that. And, um, yeah, I mean, they gave me this giant bag that I didn't really need for some reason. But that's all right. They also gave me a fork. And they gave me a bunch of napkins. Tay's favorite. But no, we're not, we're not talking about those three. They're out of my life. Never again. Just Richard. And, you know, I'm excited to be giving you guys some quality reviews on the Boomer Bros channel. I mean, it's about time. So, this is what our tostada looks like. Let me try to show you it in the box. Uh, it's not working out too well. Just don't want it to fall. All right, so, it looks like it may be a little bit messy to handle, but, yeah, it's a little bit heavy. Let's see, here it is. I don't want to drop it, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get it too close to the camera. But honestly, it, lo it looks pretty good. It is filled. It's not, you know, disgusting looking at all. That may be a little bit, but uh, come on. This is Taco Bell. You can't, you can't, you know, put them down for that. And honestly, I'm excited to try it out. A little bit worried about the pinto beans because we all know Richard loves his black beans. But I have faith. I think this will be a good Taco Bell menu item. And you know what? Let's just dig in and uh, get right into it. One more bite, folks, and I can tell you how I feel. All right, I'm sorry, product placement as always, Baja Blast Zero. So, before I talk about the food, um, this is pretty flat. Disappointed Taco Bell. It's the first time I've ever had a flat Baja Blast Zero from them, though, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They're busy. It's the rush, well, no, lunch rush hour, and haven't had time to change the syrup yet. All right, whatever. That's fine. I'll give them a pass. The food. I'm impressed. I, I mean, you know, Kurt, I don't know who he is, but whoever Kurt is tried this out one time and didn't like it that much, but I'm loving it, honestly. It's pretty fresh. The, the brown beans are good, but I actually wouldn't mind black beans instead. I think oh, either or is a good choice. It doesn't really matter, but it's spicy. That chipotle sauce makes it spicy. The red sauce and chipotle pairing is delicious. Uh, the cheese, there's tons of it. The lettuce, it's, it's, it's very good. It's spicy. It's crispy. There's a lot of flavor going on in this thing, and it's, it's only 210 calories. This is a great snack, you know? Uh, making sure no one's watching me no one. but this is such a great menu item you know you had lunch small lunch oh, i'm pretty hungry it's three o'clock you know i want to get i want to get a little bit of a snack but not too bad for me you know it has to be kind of healthy emphasis on kind of when you're going to taco bell but 
you get this, the spicy tostada is delicious. You got the, the tortilla saucer with all the stuff on it. It's, it's absolutely delicious. I, I highly recommend it. And uh, honestly, what would Richard rate the spicy tostada from Taco Bell out of 10? Let's see. You got the crispy taco shell or disc. It's fresh. Pinto beans were good. The sauce mixture and the lettuce, honestly, I'm going to have to give it a 9.5 out of 10. That's right, folks. This was a great item from Taco Bell, and I'm satisfied. I mean, I'm going to finish the rest of this. My only gripe with it is that it's a little bit hard to eat sometimes. It's a little messy, so I might have got some stains on my cheeks or something like that. It was a little hard to eat. But you know what? I, I managed. I guess that's why they gave you the fork. But it was delicious. I mean, I highly recommend this. And it's a budget food, not too many calories. It's spicy and it's delicious. I guess when the fiery taco goes away on September 12th, I'll be getting more of these because I absolutely loved it. And maybe I'll try it with the black beans next time. And if you really don't need that much spice, just add some sour cream. And I'm sure that would cool it down. So. I hope you all enjoyed this review. Um, it was nice being alone finally and just giving you guys a quality review. And uh, hopefully there's more Richard reviews in the future so you don't need to watch any of those other reviews. Anyway, have a wonderful day, folks, and Richard out.